Hey guys, I wanted to show you this little circuit. It's basically an IRF 260P MOSFET triggered by an Arduino PWM that's isolated by a PC817 optocoupler. In other words, it's a cheap and easy solid state relay. The great thing is, it's better for back EMF since I have an ultra fast diode on the source pin in a Bedini style setup. At around 13.7 volts, I'm controlling a 350 watt scooter motor as a load. That string of light emitting diodes is rated at 10 watts each. I'm using them as a back EMF load to help keep my MOSFET cool. They provide a cozy place for the spikes to go and be useful instead of going to waste. Alternatively, you could use them to charge a battery. Currently, this Nano is locked at 490 Hertz, but as I speed up the motor, my pulse width is getting closer to becoming a straight DC signal. I find that my back EMF is best around a 30% duty cycle. Here, I randomly found a coil and placed a piece of ferret in the center. Take note of the LED I added on the gate, which serves as a cool indicator. As you can see, when I remove the ferret, the current draw increases. This indicates that ferret is a more efficient core compared to air. Look at this scope shot showing 84 volts peak to peak. Once I unlock this nano and play with the frequency, I hope to achieve better output. If you have any cool ideas that could enhance this setup, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. P.S. To all the incredible individuals who have accepted the challenge and transformed from passive spectators to active participants in the world of 3D printed pulse motors, I want to express my sincere gratitude. Your dedication to bringing these designs to life is truly inspiring. Thank you for embracing the opportunity to delve into hands-on creation and experimentation. Your involvement not only enriches your own experience, but also contributes to the growth and development of our community. Your enthusiasm fuels my passion and motivates me to share even more innovative designs and ideas. I am honored to be part of this journey with you and eagerly anticipate the remarkable results you will achieve. And please, to all of you who are totally new to electronics, don't be discouraged by initial frustrations with electronics. Soon you'll understand and overcome the very issues you're currently facing. Keep going and believe in your ability to learn and you will succeed.